Hey my lovely people, welcome back to my channel Makeup Simplified. Today's video is something we all can easily do at home. It's at home facial mask for skin brightening. And you only need three to four ingredients for each mask, which are easily available in your kitchen pantry. Use these masks after cleansing and toning the face and neck area. The ingredients that I've used in these masks are gentle on your skin. However, everyone's skin is different. So always perform a patch test before using any skincare ingredients, be it natural or bottled. Now without wasting any more time, let's get started. The ingredients for the first mask are rice flour, saffron, rose water, and raw milk. We're going to mix all ingredients together in a bowl. I would say the consistency could be a little thicker than this for easier application. So go easy on the rose water and milk. Rice flour is one of the most commonly used ingredients in Indian household. Other than being good for your taste buds, it can also have a lot of benefits for your skin. It not only helps with skin brightening, it also stimulates collagen production, which means baby soft skin. No wonder it is a staple in Asian skincare routines. We are also using milk in this mask because it contains lactic acid, which helps to get rid of dead cells and also helps with new skin cell generation. It is a natural humectant, which means it helps to retain hydration in the skin. If you have oily skin, try using yogurt instead of milk. However, if you're lactose intolerant, then consider skipping it altogether. The next ingredient is saffron, which is the most delicious smelling spice used extensively in Indian delicacies. Saffron not only helps to brighten your skin, but also helps to calm the skin down. It's beneficial to anyone with sensitive skin. Rose water helps to cool your irritated sunburned skin and it will be a great addition to this mask to reduce redness and inflammation. Leave the mask on for no more than 10 minutes and then wash it off with cold water. Apply this mask at least two times a week for four to six weeks to see a visible difference. But I kid you not, you will see a difference. Let's move on to the next mask. The ingredients are gram flour or basin, honey, yogurt, and tomatoes. You mash the tomatoes to a fine paste as you can and mix it with the rest of the ingredients. You can adjust the amount of gram flour to get a thicker consistency, but it's absolutely not necessary. Okay, so what are the ingredients we have here? The tomatoes. Apart from having a very good effect on your digestive system, using tomatoes in this mask has multiple benefits. It helps improve removal of dead cells to reveal smooth, glowy skin underneath. It helps stimulate collagen production. I remember seeing my grandma rubbing tomato slices on her skin and she was the first one to introduce me to using tomatoes in skincare. It also helps to reduce sebum and prevents or helps get rid of blackheads and whiteheads. So tomatoes are superb for oily skin as well as dry skin. We have gram flour next, which is another ingredient that is good for oily as well as dry skin. For oily skin, it helps to get rid of dry dead cells without losing the skin hydration. For dry skin, it helps to get rid of the cells, which if you follow with a gentle hydrating serum and moisturizer, may be the best thing for your skin ever. For any facial mask, try using raw honey that is not processed. It helps to naturally retain the good bacteria, which helps your skin reduce inflammation that will help with skin healing. The benefits of honey are innumerable. However, some people may have allergic reaction to honey. So please patch test before you use it. I've used dairy yogurt here, which is gentle and contains natural lactic acid, which helps to provide exfoliation to the skin. This helps to improve the skin texture and also helps reduce pigmentation from acne scars or sunburn. You know how acne is caused by bacterial growth. The probiotics in yogurt is said to help reduce the inflammation and calm skin caused by acne. So definitely include it in your skincare routine. Let's move on to our next mask now. It has gram flour or basin, honey, turmeric powder, and cucumber. Again, you're gonna mash the cucumber and mix it with the rest of the ingredients. This is the best mask for anyone with oily skin and acne prone skin with a lot of inflammation. The ingredients are a relief for sunburned skin too. Where do I start talking about turmeric? It's a superfood that has been a part of Indian diet forever. It is now gaining recognition everywhere for its varied health benefits. There's a reason Indian brides have the haldi ceremony where a mixture of turmeric aka haldi is used with rose water and milk or cream to brighten up the complexion before the wedding day. It has numerous benefits for the skin. It's anti-inflammatory, 
reduces oxidative stress on the skin, which is one of the major reasons for skin breakouts or hyperpigmentation, by the way. It helps to fade acne scars and soothe sunburned skin. But be careful, you only need a little bit of turmeric because it can stain your skin yellow. Cucumber is another ingredient which is soothing and calming to the skin. It provides cooling sensation to sunburned skin. It's especially good around the eyes. It helps to reduce puffiness and helps to control sebum, getting rid of dead skin cells without losing any skin hydration. Always remember, even if you have oily skin, it needs to stay hydrated. In fact, lack of hydration is the major reason for having oily skin. Well, I already spoke about basin or the gram flower as well as honey in the previous mask. The shelter in place has been a great time to experiment with natural homemade ingredients for skincare and I would recommend you guys to try it out too. I've been reading more and more about using kitchen ingredients in skincare and I'm leaning more and more towards them now, especially now more than ever. I would like to reiterate again that everyone's skin reacts differently to different products, be it natural products or your store-bought creams. If you notice any side effects from using any of these ingredients, stop using the mask and check which of the ingredients may have caused it. If your skin issues are due to some medical conditions, consult with your doctor first. These are natural and potent ingredients, but you also want to be safe handling them. Follow all these masks with the serum of your choice. I like my Sweet Chef Vitamin C Serum. I've been using it for a while now and it makes my skin so bouncy and hydrated. Since it's summer, I'm using a lightweight moisturizer, which is the Pharmacy Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer. It's a phenomenal moisturizer for anyone with oily skin. Let me know in the comments below which of these masks do you want to try or if you have any question regarding the ingredients. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel, like and share this video. Follow me on Instagram at make.up.simplified or use hashtag makeover by cash in your stories or posts so I can see them. Enjoy your facial session guys. Stay healthy and stay safe. Bye!